Is it better on this background or on this background? I kind of like that blue. Oh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely go uh -huh. for the blue. I like this yeah. plain. Yeah. I, I definitely you like go the plain? plain, yeah. I think we have a division. I like that here. Because like these that. days, I simplify, simplify, simplify. I guess when um, I made my first no, quilt but... and the very next thing I did was think of another quilt I wanted to make, another quilt I wanted to make, another quilt I wanted to make, and I wanted to make my own designs rather than traditional quilts. I didn't want to make bed quilts all the time. I wanted to make quilts that would go on the wall. I was sort of disappointed with having been a painter all my life and then graduating and not wanting to be a painter again and not wanting to tell anybody because that's something that it was expected of me and I had sort of run it out to the end of my in energy and quilting just seemed something that was so new even though it was traditional it could be designed in a way that had no history. I mean, I had the doors wide open to me compared to the, the vast history of painting. With quilting, it seemed like um, it's ours. The women, you know, were uh, able to bring something to it that was uniquely our own. And that made me feel that I, I could make a mark that would be different, that would be noticed, that could be noticed. I kept thinking that if you were in a gallery or if you were going into a show, you'd want to have something that would grab the person by the neck and say, look at me. And so that's the sort of thing that I was making, um, putting that kind of uh, impact into the idea, um, going for the full throttle. And so, yeah, nothing subtle about it. <laughs> In the past, a lot of my fusing work seemed like applique. There would be some sort of a base fabric and then I'd put things, elements on it. Well, it dawned on me that I could just as easily make a design that looked pieced by just overlapping two pieces of fabric instead of fusing it to another piece. So that meant that I could replicate a quilt that's pieced, which is what this looks like. This looks like it's pieced, but it isn't. It's still fused. Just all the pieces within it are overlapped. So this makes it much lighter, much easier, and, and it has more of a drapey look to it. This piece is one of the ones that is most recent, and I'm not done quilting it yet. And um, it's uh, based on the cross uh, shape. Basically, it's an abstraction um, of just a sort of a vertical and a horizontal layout. And um, I'm, I'm experimenting with um, using a limited color palette uh, because in the past my work has been all color all the time in fact I've sort of been that's been my middle nickname Melody all the color all the time Johnson but um, then I realized that um, there is a certain limit to what you can do when you're doing that and some colors that have not been in my repertoire all these years things that are like beige and you know tan and stone and fawn, things I would never even have considered last year, and this year they're all exciting new things to me, so. What we do as artists is we, we give ourselves a little problem, and then we have to come up with a creative solution. So during that process, if we run into another problem and then we have to come up with another solution on top of that, that's even better. I feel like I'm really using what my gifts are then, and uh, there's nothing else like it.